The STL file is available for free on the Patreon, but please don't click off yet. It'll destroy my metrics and YouTube will get mad at me and stop letting me upstairs during the day. Okay, so this is the Nikon F3. It's my favorite and certainly my most used 35 millimeter camera. One of my favorite features is its ability to be used without the prism, just the focusing screen, similar to a TLR like a Rolleiflex or a Maya C330. However, as a result of that, I frequently end up carrying this camera without the viewfinder on it. I do not recommend doing this. You need something uh, up there to keep dirt and debris outside of the camera's insides. Now the clear answer is to buy Nikon's official waist level viewfinder, which is, oh, nope, okay, screw that, new plan. Um, that costs more than the camera does. Uh, we're gonna 3D print one. Now my original plan was to start with this Nikon F2 viewfinder model that I found and use that for the base. However, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, this is way too damn big. That thing right there is the print bed. I think I put a decimal place in the wrong spot. Plus, ideally, uh, I would like it to be able to fold, so um, I changed my mind. I'm going to do it from scratch. Now, I am very, very bad at 3D modeling, but I am vaguely familiar with what I'm trying to accomplish, so I'm going to just go ahead and wing this. Step one, measure the viewfinder. Step two, download Fusion 360. Step three, realize you don't know how to use Fusion 360 and switch to BabyCAD for babies. Step four, draw some boxes. Step five, print those boxes. I'm printing this with CF nylon since it's a part that needs to be durable. Uh, and also I can't do anything fun with the rest of the spool anyways, as long as I'm still in the totalitarian, freedom-hating, commie hellhole of Delaware. So really, it just needs to have a piece of glass in place to seal off the inside of the camera. I'm using a 49mm filter because I have a ton of them and no lenses that fit them. So my thought is to just cut out a square rectangular section of this uh, magnification filter and stick it inside the plastic piece. I did not pick the right color. All right, new, new plan is simple. I'm just gonna create a circular indent in the plastic that will just hold the entire piece of filter glass in place. This is actually pretty convenient because it gives me the ability to swap out the clear filter uh, for a colored filter like this green one right here. So I think the easiest way is just gonna be to get it hot and press it into the plastic. Oh, shit. I did not pick the right method. Okay, update. Uh, so it no longer folds. Uh, also, I have decided to just do what I should have done initially and design in the indent for the filter instead of whatever the hell this uh, soldering iron and file hatchet job here is. Oh, also, uh, if you like the shirt, it's available exclusively at Night Channels. All right, this is the end result. Uh, is it pretty? Um, not really. Is it functional? Barely. Does it keep crap out of the inside of the camera? Yes. Um, is it sleeker and lighter weight than other options? Yes. Is it cheaper? Yes. Like and subscribe.